Let me go ahead and do my sound check. But while we're waiting, um, let's go and talk about some logistics stuff first. For those that don't remember, I have a giveaway going on for a uh, classics He-Man figure. Oh, I'll get him out here so you guys can see him. Here he is in this box right here. I'm not going to open it again, but inside here is a classics He-Man figure still sealed in the package. And I've tabulated all the people that have already uh, um, been entered in the contest. I sent you guys emails. Um, those who want to join the contest still can. Just click the link in the bottom for the video link. And you can potentially get yourself a classics He-Man still in the package mailed to you. Now, if you are not U.S., you'll have to pay for shipping. If you are in the U.S., I'll, I'll take care of the shipping for you. All right, so let's get on the business of what we're here for. And that is to make this Origins Land Shark work ah, for the Classics figure. Now, the Classics figure has some problems, as you guys know. Trying to stuff them in the seat. Their feet hit the inside way too quick. So you can see, let me add a light so you guys can see inside there. And you can see his feet in there are just coming right up inside there and it just chomps on the top of his feet when you try to open that. So there's not a lot of room to move it. I mean, you could take and take off his feet from here down and then have a specialty figure made that will fit in there, but that's not cool. So I've decided I am going to actually sand off this back half here and actually uh, see if we can't um, cut this part out and then reform the seat. Oh, hey, hey, can you also get my screwdriver next to my bed on that side between the computer and the bed on the floor? The one that's interchangeable. So my wife has got you my safety glasses so I can be safe about this. Now I'm first going to take a screwdriver and see how it comes apart. Now you guys get to be part of the actual thought process of how this goes to happens because I decided just to, just to start doing it. So... Lucky you guys. You guys get to see my start and finish of how this all goes together. So first, what I'm going to do is take a picture of this eye on this uh, phone right here. And I want to do this so that that way then, in case something goes wrong, I can reproduce the sticker. So let me go ahead and get this eye taken. Being it is just the sticker, I'll take both sides. You know, they should be the same. Oh, the color's just not coming out right, but at least I'll have the approximate sizes and stuff. There we go. It looks better. You want to look at my toolbox under the bed? Hmm? You want to look at my toolbox under the bed for me? If you can't find it, just let me know and I'll figure something out. All right, let's go ahead and get this tray underneath here so I don't uh, get stuff all over the place. First, let's see if we got any comments or who's joining us. Hey, Sledge Master, thanks for joining us. Is my audio working? There we go. Great. All right. So, my wife is looking for a screwdriver for me. We'll see if she's successful in finding one or not. If not, I'll go run in the room and grab one. Because I think if I pull this apart, it'd make it easier to sand on it so I don't damage the parts. I'll be right back while you guys stare at this shark, land shark, for a minute. All right, I got this pack of screwdrivers here. It should work in a pinch. Normally I like to have my better screwdrivers, but I'm not sure what happened to them. I guess somebody wanted to use them more than me. So I also have another figure I'm gonna try here where the legs bend a little better, just to, just to try to get it close as we build this. And again, you can see the whole feet jamming into the front there. Just not enough room. So 
let's go ahead and start pulling this apart. And see how far this comes apart. Now, a long time ago, the He-Man toys were just all glued together. So you had to either break the, the seal, the glue, or something else. They didn't just have screws in there. So this is a huge plus. This should make it easier for customization. So that'll be cool. Hey, Bo. Thanks for joining us. see how this land sharks put together yes both screws are great it makes life so much easier as opposed to just stuff being glued together or uh, plastic welded together which we've seen a lot of in the past sorry for no exciting music or anything going on while you're Guys are watching me slowly pull us apart, but because it's a live show, you guys get to suffer through me slowly pulling this apart instead of uh, having parts fast forward. All right. So. If I remember correctly, one of these was loose when I got it. So, it's a lot of stickers in the back, too. I probably should take a picture of those, too. Oh, well. There we go. Hopefully, this side is the same way. And it is. Ta da! Oh! All right, now we can see that seat really easily in there. And it's like the engine's removable too. So let's take a screwdriver and pop that out of there as well and get that engine out of there so we don't damage it too much. And if you guys want, I am having kind of a spring cleaning going on at my house right now. So um, I have a bunch of stuff on, e no, I should have a bunch yet. I got two things right now, but I'm going to get more stuff on eBay. If you guys want to check out my link I have in there. So far I have a Roton and I stored the bid in a buck for it. Now it doesn't have the, the guns and it doesn't have the cool figure that came with it. Because obviously I wanted to keep the figure and it doesn't have the... Um, the um, stand for it either because I wanted to use the stand for some of the other flying vehicles so look at that there's my engine for later so there is my land shark looks like we got you know what I'm gonna use this engine as a thing to hold the screws so I don't lose them how's that I can get them off of here all right so that's going to make it way easier to get to this. So let's take a look here. If I sand right here and cut that off, that'll be in this part right here. We have a little bit of room here before we hit the wheel wells. So not a lot. But hopefully enough to get a figure to sit at their back right in this area. That'd be cool. Because once those wheels go back on there, you do have some playroom right here for that to fit. So hopefully that will work. This knob right here, that's weird. They got these three knobs right there, but yet there's nothing removable. Or wait. Does that seat come off? That would sure make life a whole lot easier. Okay. There's something going on there with that. You can see the plastic is splitting open right there. So it's not one molded piece. I just don't see where or how it separates yet. I 
And look, you can see like a double seam right here. I wonder if the seat's just glued on there. That would be awesome. Let's go and take our flat screwdriver and, and work on this back end where the engine will hide the melee if I mess it up. Let's just see if we can't pry this open. That would sure be easy. It's like the easy button, right? Oh, look at that. I gave it one good whap and you can see it, it's splitting right there. So that does separate. But where does the other line go? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna have to get another screwdriver to get this thing open and figure out how this goes together. And this might be an easier fix than I thought. Interesting, interesting. I'll be right back. Did you guys miss me? I'm back and I got myself a bigger screwdriver. And let's see if we cannot figure out what is going on here with this. Ugh. Definitely some connection point. You know, I think the seat's just glued in. A little more reefing. We might even have it. Look at that. Oh, yes, uh, James, the link is actually in the description. So if you look at my description, you may have to click one of the buttons. Or it will show the description and then you can get to my link to see what I have for sale. Ugh, ugh. I know I'm tearing this up a little bit, but I really don't care too much because I was planning on cutting it all off anyway. And if we can get this off. Wasn't good. I don't know where that went to, but hey, look at that. We got the seat off and it doesn't look too bad. So I'm glad I looked at the bottom there to see those points that were attached. That seat just went flying. I'll see if I can find it later, but you know, Let's take a look and see how he fits. Oh yeah, we got lots of room now. That seat gone. Let's just stick the motor back on and see how much room we got. We'll just put him right against the back of the motor there. So, if you guys are gonna copy me on this, you may not even have to take the screws out. You could just pop off that back piece there and that will give you guys tons of extra room to seat your Skeletor in there. Now I'm still gonna do some sanding on here because obviously if I cut out this little area right here now, that'll be perfect for his rear to sit right inside there. 
And look at that, there's room right there too on the back side of that. Oops, sorry, there's room right there on the back side. So I'm just gonna cut out this little area right here and that will fit the same size as his butt area. And we just like Hightower sitting in the back of the, the car when he pulls the seat out because he was too big. So let's go ahead and get out our Dremel tool. I cannot believe that was that easy to get that seat off there. Here I was just dreading it, thinking I had to chop all this off and make all this mess, and here it just came off so easily. That's cool. Cool. All right, let's look for my drill bit. There it is. All right, so I'm first gonna drill two holes, one there and one there to uh, basically make it so that I have a place to, to um, saw to. So I'm gonna load this drill up in there. the wrench. Where is the wrench? There it is. It's up against one of the walls. That'd be funny to find where that seat is. Yeah, that was funny. And Hightower did that when he grabbed the back seat, pulled it out, and sat in the back of the, uh, the front seat and sat in the back of the car. That was so cool. <sighs> All right, now to get my safety glasses on because I don't want to get hurt today. You know, if I was to get rid of this piece for right now, I'd actually make it easier. I wonder what holds this thing on. I don't see any screws. I wonder if it just snaps in place. I hate just to pull things out at random because I don't want to snap something that's not supposed to be snapped that I want to use later. You know what? I'm just going to tape the mouth shut just so that I don't have to deal with the mouth opening up on me while I'm sanding this. That's what we got painter's tape, right? There we go. All right, let's go and drill some holes. Skeletor, get off the mat. Those look pretty good. It was actually glued at the front and snapped in both. So it had a little bit of glue in front and then it was also snapped in the back. So it kind of was interesting. You can see right here where it just snapped off right there. Or it was definitely glued in that hole really tight. And you could see the three points of where it was connected inside there. You know, maybe it wasn't glued in front. I don't see any glue marks. Interesting questions. Let's go ahead and get out my piece to saw this. Yes. Oh. Nope. Oh. Pull the motor back off. Put the screws back in it so I don't get them stuck and I'm screws flinging around the room. Don't want to get the tape on those eyes. 
I can help it, I want to keep reusing the same stickers. First cut. Oh, you're out of camera range. Let me go and adjust the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. No land shark. There is the coin slot to run the land shark. Before Skeletor's to get any, he has to drop a quarter in there. Thanks, your man. I appreciate that. So let's see how Skeletor feels about this. Ah, you're ruining my land shark. <laughs> Look at that scowl. Looks like someone stole his muffin. You stole my muffin. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep cutting this. Now these ones here, I'm going to cut up like this at an angle, and then we'll see how that goes from that point. So let's go ahead and uh, cut this side first. Pretty good. We got both sides cut now. So you can see there I got my L channel going on there. All right, now for the other side. This side's a little harder because the way the wheel spins is kind of going the opposite direction. So bear with me, this will take a little bit longer on this side. I kind of wish these journals had a reverse on them.
All right. So now we got that all cut all the way around. Now the tricky part's gonna be going around this back half here. So to do this, I'm gonna drill some more holes first before I start sanding again. Where did I put that drill bit? Oh, I put it back away. How crazy is that? Actually putting tools away. Let's get the wrench and tighten this up. All right. back off Ugh. and let's go back to cutting let's first look at some of your questions you got <laughs> not the dentist the art of plastic surgery. All right, yeah, you guys wrote a lot. Hey, Bo, excellent. You got Ninja and Hordak for your birthday. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get back to chop shopping this. for the back. Now it's going to be tough because of all the angles I have to try to get in here. That will work pretty good going across this way. So let's go ahead and uh, do this back half now.
Oh, so close. Ooh, you can do it. Hooray, we got our hole. All right, so let's see if Skeletor's bony butt fits in that little area. And it surely does. Look at that. So now he can sit nice and comfortably in his vehicle. That's cool. Now the question is, will the engine fit back on there? While you guys are looking at this, I'm gonna go see if I can find the back of that seat. We might be able to still use some pieces from it. That is crazy. I have no idea where it flew to. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. All right, I guess we're not gonna use that seat no more because I have no idea where it is. We'll have to make do with what we got. So first of all, let's take a look at some of the parts we have still left in here. We have the support piece right here. I'm gonna take and sand that down, sand this all around and clean it up. And then we'll put the bottom back on, decide if we're gonna build a seat out of some two-part epoxy putty or just leave it as is. Now this particular sanding part um, is a really rough grit so we can get through it quickly. And then later on, I'll follow it up with a stone to have it nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and uh, start cleaning this up. That looks pretty good. You can see what I'm doing here. See a support member right here. I'm just taking and sanding that flat so that it still has some support, just not as much as it did before, but it still has the back support for the wheel. So we're not gonna totally destroy it. That way the wheels can still roll because the idea is you still want the, the, the um, land shark to function. I keep wanting to call it street shark instead of land shark. Street sharks. Very cool. Well, this is coming together a whole lot better than I thought it ever would have. I've been dreading trying to do this and make it work just right for a while. It's like, okay, is this really going to work? But actually, it's coming together pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and move to our stone. Now, this is going to be kind of weird because it's a large stone. I'll have to switch to a smaller stone later. But this will get us the majority of the sanding, and then I'll go back to a smaller stone to get the small little detailed areas. <laughs> that sounds wrong. No.
And I can see this side I did not cut tight, so I'll have to sand off a little more on here. move to the smaller stone now the next stone is one of my favorite stones you guys see me use it all the time for customizing figures it's this nice little small cone and this works great for all kinds of stuff generally for uh, cutting out the inside of boots to make uh, customized boots for figures and other things so this is a great one to have for all kinds of stuff starting to look pretty nice. I'm going to change this up again with a different stone. This one's not cone shaped. This one's actually small, but, but uh, it still works great just to get that front edge because it's just not coming all the way off the way I want it to.
much better. All right, let's go back to the cone and finish it up. Well, that does not look half bad. Look at that. Yeah. So, let's see now. There we go. He can be sitting back in that seat, comfortably relaxing and chilling. His feet are way out of the way of the, of the mouth now. He's even got armrests now to put his arms on. So that is the first part of this. So let's take a look and put the motor on there and see where that sits in comparison to everything else. So the motor is in his way. That really stinks. So we're gonna have to make a decision here. Gonna have to decide if we should design a whole new motor to stick on here or uh, just use this motor and alter it. So I'm still debating which way I want to go because unfortunately he has to be a low rider when he does this because his legs just do not bend very far. Let me try to bend him a little bit more. Let's see if we can get some more. Uh, fit, Skeletor, fit. Well, I guess that might work if we did a lot of bending. It's just, ugh. his legs just do not bend very much. Let's go ahead and take the tape off and see where his feet are on the inside. Let me back this up so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. No, oh, his feet are still on the inside. Yep. The motor has got to go. Because once the motor gets out of there, he can sit way in the back. His butt can go way back there. And see now, put his feet up, bend his knees. Low rider skeletor. Oh, the problem is his ankles are being cut off right there. So there we go. Let's open the land shark first, then put his feet in there. Ugh. I think this might be the impossible mission. There we go. So about that motor, we only get that much space to put this motor in there. Now a couple things we could do is just shift the motor back and have it just sit like that, like it's hanging over. That might not be too bad. That way we still have the beefy big old motor and just uh, have it sit on those chunks in the back. 
that might be the way to go. That way then we still have the cool aesthetic of a big motor. And it also makes the land shark just a little bit bigger because now it's sticking out further. I might do that. That might be kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start screwing this back together. Because if I do have to build a seat up in here, I have to have someone to attach it to. Wheels, wheels. Whew, I got purple plastic everywhere. see some of your guys ideas what should I do with the motor should I slide it back make a smaller one sand this one down yes my goal is to fit a seven inch classic Skeletor in this thing when I'm done that is the plan Hence why I ripped the seat out, sanded a big giant hole in it to slide his butt back into the seat so he'd fit further. My original goal before I actually had this in hand was to somehow make a spot for his feet and sand it out bigger. But then I realized really quick that it gets in the way of the mouth controls. And that would not work. doing these screws completely wrong usually I put them all in loose first and do like a star pattern to tighten them up I'll go back and retighten the ones in the front after I get these all done no ah, that hooks onto the motor that's funny okay so let's go ahead and retighten these in the front Oh, they're pretty tight. That worked out good. All right. So open this first. Stick them in there. A little rider Skeletor. Let's get out of this mess. Let's see if the action feature still works. Oh, yeah, the action feature still works with low ride and Skeletor in there. So that is one of the main keys is to keep the action feature working. So that's cool. So, motor. So now we got to figure out what to do with this motor. And I think the best course of action is just to mount it further back. That way we can still have the full complete motor. And I think if I was to take and make a little slot for this to go in right about here. Uh, well, you have the full motor in there. Let's just see how high I can put this. Maybe I can get it right there instead will give me a quarter inch nope the feet are interfering he's got to go back the full distance he's going the distance dun -dun 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 -dun.
So I may just mount the motor just like that right there. I know it's a little further further uh, back than I need, but it already has a slot right there for that to fit into. And I think with enough uh, super glue and stuff, that will work just fine. And it actually kind of fits there and like it like seems like it wants to stay in that spot. Then I'll have to add some uh, detailing right here because it's just too smooth. And nothing in the Masters universe is that smooth. And then I'll have to decide what I want to do with this seat area here. If I want to build something up. I may or may not. I may just take some, some black foam and cut it out and stick it in there. And glue it on the inside. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Just taking it back apart. Gluing some black foam on the inside of there. That would probably work pretty cool. All right, so let, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, see, I was thinking of 3D printing something, but the more I think about it, I want to make it so everybody can do this. And if I 3D print something, then it limits what you guys can do, because now you just can't go and do it as easily. But this actually fits in there. You see this little notch right here? It actually fits for the motor like that. And I know these pieces are hanging past right here. I'll probably saw those off and then just somehow fix it on there. Maybe, maybe fill the bottom up with something. Maybe just leave it hollow too. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think that's probably the best way is hooking that up right there. Because it already has some application for that right now with the slot being right here. All right, let's go ahead and see where the handles sit now because obviously I have to fix the handles. So let's slap this on. Because those handles are so far forward. Let's see where these guns sit. Well, you know, the guns have handles on them. Maybe that's where his hand should go. Let's see if he can hang on to those handles. You can do it, Skeletor. You have the power. Kind of odd they have these handles way in the back like this. Ugh. It's a tank. Ooh. You can do it, Mon. Well. If you're shooting up high, that would work good, but I guess if you're shooting forward, not a very good plan. So, uh, that's not the plan. Okay, let go of the handles, man. I guess it's in case he pulls them off and wants to go to war like uh, Rambo with the big old gun. Now, the nice part of having me being a low rider in here is it does protect him a little bit from straight on shots and blasts. Now, it is funny about this uh, shark tank. Shark tank. <laughs> about this land shark is uh um the best figure to fit in here believe it or not is the one from the 80s even this figure has problems with his feet getting stuck in there all the time so <laughs> even though it was made for the other figure i'm just glad the mouse still works that it was the goal and like i said i'm gonna mount the motor in the back maybe you see it doesn't look bad with all the treads on there Looks like it actually could be back like that. I don't know. I'm debating. Maybe just a little bit back. Anyway, I'll play with it and figure it out. I'll show you guys the end result once it's all done. I may not make another video in between here and the final result. And I'll probably splice this one with the final result altogether. So. Uh, the old chop shop from the 1970s. 
Yep, autocorrect primer. I think you're right. We're just going to slide it back. And then we got to figure out how to make these handles reach. Because obviously he's not going to hang on to there. I'm even debating if I should just make new handles that just go here on the slider here. As opposed to using these handles way up here. Because trying to create something that hooks from here all the way back here, it would just look ridiculous when it was done anyway. So I may just chop those off and mount some handles a lot closer for him to hang on to. I might even use the same handles after I, I chop them off. Haven't decided yet which way I want to go. All right, leave your comments, like, share, and show your friends. And uh, remember, the giveaway is going to be this weekend. I'll take entries up until Friday. After Friday, the entries will be closed. And if you want to see how to, to enter the contest to win a free Classics He-Man figure still in the package, um, use the link down below for the video. And uh, that actually worked better than I thought. I can't believe that seat was just stuck in there. That made it so much easier. That was cool. And it's fun too because these holes right here, you could probably mount like guns in there if you wanted to or something or anything else. So I'm going to leave those there for future possible remember when you put him in there open the jaw first then jam his legs in there otherwise his feet will get caught inside the holes wrong ah, classic skinny tour All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys next video. Bye now.